Namaste YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Today Antra Roy is back with an amazing recipe. That's right. If this picture right now on your screen is making you salivate, then you need to stick around for the recipe because we are going to be making this amazing looking fish today. That's right. It's not even only good for you and good for your health, but it's an absolute delight to make and so easy and breezy. So the main ingredient in this dood ilish is your ilish and it has to be fresh, nicely seasoned with salt and turmeric and marinated for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. Not more than that. Now let's work on the masala mix, which starts with milk and ends with turmeric. Believe it or not, that's all the ingredients. So we are going to be using very few ingredients in this recipe, but we're going to maximize the ingredients, the flavors, and then we are going to get an amazing dish at the end. All right. So we're going to make a nice yellow looking milk mixture uh, now milk in its in its goodness is very sweet so you need to balance that sweetness with a little bit of jhal or tikka pan which my jalapeno indian jalapeno pepper would do and take care of it i left the seeds in and some savoriness from salt all right, so we've got that mix ready. Now let's work on the fishes once again. We have a heavy bottom pan, which we've put on medium flame. Now you'll see me add some mustard oil in it. This dish has to be made in mustard oil. There cannot be any substitution to mustard oil. Trust me, the flavor of this oil runs through the fish all right so we are not going to add a ton of oil here it's only just a couple of tablespoons and now taking my own sweet time i'm going to sear the fish just to seal its marination okay just sear it thoda sa high flame pe hum isko roast type kar lenge uh, just for 30 seconds on each side okay not more than that what you're looking at is the real time Another thing, just be sure of not putting all your fish pieces at the same point of time. Because Elish or Hilsa or Indian Shad or Halibut as it is called, is a very, very soft fish. You might break it or, you know, you'll have much more con control over the pieces if you just fry one or two pieces at a time, okay? So that's it. That is all the frying that we have done. This is done in a real time. So, you know, it's just 30 seconds on each side. We're just looking at a nice caramelized covering and that's all. Okay. In that same oil, now I'm going to temper the oil with some dry red chilies. Okay. Uh, give it a few seconds. Uh, we're going to add kalonji or kalajira or nigella seeds after some time but give it a few seconds till the time the uh, the the pepper the red chilies have nicely infused their flavor into that oil okay then we're gonna add some, uh, two big pinches of nigella seeds now nigella seeds are very very widely used in bengali cuisine we use it uh, as an onion substitute most of the time. What I've seen, the Bengali Hindu cuisine has very less onion and garlic in it. And we, we use a lot of kalonji or kalajira, which has a little bit of an oniony taste to it. So it's, it's an amazing um, spice. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it to be bought. Uh, it is very easily available everywhere in the world, all right? So there you saw me add another Indian jalapeno pepper. Trust me, these peppers are extremely hot and extremely spicy. So just two of them did it for me, okay, with this seeds on. Now let's put all my milk mixture in that hot kadai and stir it vigorously till the time there is a nice um, simmer all through it, it breaks down uh, the sides and everywhere okay 
uh, why are we gonna uh, why why do we need to stir it at this point because we want to make sure our milk doesn't curdle okay so in goes my fishes the moment you have seen a good nice simmer uh, dump in your fishes and just uh, cook the fishes covered in this flavorful broth for about 5 to 10 minutes give it a flip every now and then um don't try and disturb it a little too much because obviously these fishes are extremely soft and uh, just make sure that the malai or you know the layer which you get in the sides and the top of milk just incorporate it in the broth okay and that's it your dish is done it's such a easy peasy recipe from start to finish it just takes about 10 minutes i'm gonna garnish it with some jalapeno peppers yes i have deseeded it right now so that it's not extremely spicy uh but you can suit yourself and all there is to it after this is to enjoy this with hot steaming rice